soft plastic like this does not belong in your blue recycling bin. And once it makes it to the recycling facility, it often ends up in a landfill because it cannot be recycled. But there is a local nonprofit that is collecting those soft plastics and helping to bring new life to them so it doesn't end up in our community. Let's explore Plastic Beach. It's the uh, clothing wrap that uh, we see our clothing hanging in the store ready to try on. We don't, a lot of us don't understand that it comes to the store wrapped in those plastic bags. We're just hearing conversation about that one grocery bag uh, that we walk out the store with. For that one grocery bag, there are thousands of bags that we'd never see. After watching large amounts of plastic waste washing up at his warehouse job, Matthew combined his passion for helping the environment and his love of the band Gorillaz into this local nonprofit about five years ago. Named after their 2014 album, Plastic Beach is an avenue for local businesses to get rid of soft plastic packaging. We are creeping up on 100,000 pounds collected and recycled and that's a lot uh, because I want to just explain to you that a bag this big, so basically a, four, a 40 gallon uh, big large trash bag only weighs about, about five pounds. In the case of soft plastics, large amounts of it will waste away in landfills. Oftentimes it gets into our waterways and out to our ocean. Plastic can break down, but it's still present in the form of microplastics, and those make their way into our bodies. We carry around a credit card's worth of plastic in us every year, and that's where it's coming from. Uh, most of it is coming from the food that we're consuming and our environment. They are looking for more businesses and individuals to expand their collection services. They currently work with over 35 businesses. Can I give you a hand with this? Uh, yeah, thanks. The Pier Project Brewery and Tap Room in Vista is on board with Matthew's mission. Sustainability is really important to us at Pier Project. Anything that we can do to keep the plastic out of our waterways and out of landfills is a win for us. Rolling up in an EV van, Plastic Beach will come to your small business or corporation for the collection of all grades of soft plastics. They will bring them back to their warehouse and compress it down in a baler because plastic expands and holds volume. Wires help keep it together and the bales are ready to be stored, collected, transported and even downcycled, which means manufactured into a product. We are partnering with these American companies and they're making decking, uh, composite lumber, even asphalt so we can make our roads out of plastic. And the benefit is it locks the plastic away for the next 20 or 30 years. Plastic Beach received an award from the California Product Stewardship Council for their collection efforts. Matthew stresses that we need to build value in the collection part of soft plastics. Through collaborations with organizations like Surfrider San Diego, they want to appeal to local and state government to reduce the sales of single-use plastic and advocate for more alternatives. We can recycle what is being produced. They can reduce the plastic uh, footprint of the packaging out there and then hopefully at some point in the future there will be less and less and less and we'll have built out a really good model of how to deal with what is coming out. The ultimate goal? Reducing soft plastic waste enough in our environment that they go out of business. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis.